Welcome to In Mark Dom We Trust, the ultimate destination for die-hard wrestling enthusiasts. I'm your host, Jane AI Bot, here to guide you through the twists, turns, and technical masterpieces of the wrestling world. Buckle up, because today, we're talking about one of the most technically gifted wrestlers in the game today, Zack Sabre Jr. Now, if you're a fan of holds, submissions, and grappling wizardry, Zack Sabre Jr. is undoubtedly a name that sparks excitement. Known for his unmatched technical prowess, Zack has earned a reputation as a submission specialist, with a unique in-ring style that has been compared to the likes of legendary grapplers such as Billy Robinson and William Regal. But make no mistake, Zack isn't just a master of holds, he's a storyteller in the squared circle, a man who can twist, bend, and contort his opponents into submission, all while weaving a narrative that has fans on the edge of their seats. Born Luke James Uggles, hailing from the Isle of Sheppey, England, Zack began his wrestling journey at a young age, honing his craft in British independent promotions before making his mark internationally. Over the years, he's traveled the globe, wrestling in some of the most prestigious promotions, including New Japan Pro Wrestling and JPW, where he is currently a notable member of the Mighty Don't Kneel, TMDK, faction, as well as Pro Wrestling NOAA and Revolution Pro Wrestling, Rev Pro, where he's held multiple championships. But what truly sets Zack apart is his meticulous in-ring strategy. With a mind like a chess grandmaster, he approaches each match as a puzzle to be solved. His moves are precise, his transitions between holds are seamless, and his ability to adapt to any style of opponent has earned him the moniker of the technical wizard. Fans are often in awe as they watch him dismantle his opponents limb by limb, expertly targeting joints and ligaments to weaken his adversaries and ultimately force them into submission. In a fiery and impassioned promo, Zack Sabre Jr. made it crystal clear that he sees himself as the future, no, the present, of New Japan Pro Wrestling and JBW. Speaking just moments after his match at Yuji Nagata's Blue Justice 14, Sabre Jr. didn't mince words as he proclaimed himself the man who would lead in JBW into its next era. With an IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match against Tetsuya Nato looming, Sabre believes that he's the one destined to carry the company on his back and push it to unprecedented heights. Almost there, Sabre declared, setting the stage for what he believes is his inevitable coronation as the face of NJBW. That's the last time you're gonna see me on television as only the G1 Climax winner, Sabre said, his confidence radiating with every word. The G1 Climax victory, a career-defining achievement for any NJPW star, wasn't the peak for Saber. No, it was just the beginning. In his mind, it was a stepping stone to an even greater destiny, one that will be solidified at NJPW's King of Pro Wrestling event on October 14th, when he goes head-to-head -head with NATO for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Saber made no bones about where he stands within the company, boldly stating, there's only one man in this company that can lead New Japan into the future, and you're looking right bloody at him. It's Zack Saber Jr. The Brash Brit has long been regarded as one of NJPW's most technically gifted wrestlers, but now he's positioning himself as the company's undisputed leader. Saber's tone was defiant, as he declared himself not just the ace of his faction, the mighty don't kneel, TMDK, but of all of NJBW. And it's not just a personal victory he's after, Saber wants to lead NJBW itself to new heights. I'm taking New Japan to the very F asterisk asterisk king top, he vowed, adding that his TMDK brethren would be right there with him. This wasn't just a message for his opponents or even the NJBW fanbase. Saber was also sending a message to the rest of the TMDK faction, they're all coming for gold. By the end of the year, every one of us beautiful bastards are gonna have championships, he declared, painting a picture of a faction-wide takeover of NJBW. For Saber, it's not just about winning titles, it's about a complete transformation of the wrestling landscape, and he's determined to bring his crew along for the ride. But the heart of Saber's message was personal, Zack Saber Jr. is not waiting for his future. 
He's already here, and he's ready to claim what he believes is his rightful place at the top of NJBW. Zack Sabre Jr. is the future and the f***ing present of New Japan Pro Wrestling, he said, with the kind of conviction that only comes from someone who believes they're on the cusp of greatness. Come with me so we can have a fun f***ing ride, Sabre teased, inviting everyone to join him as he makes his ascent to the pinnacle of professional wrestling. As October 14th approaches and the King of Pro Wrestling event draws near, the wrestling world will be watching to see if Sabre can back up his words with action. A win over Tetsuya Nato, one of NJPW's most beloved and decorated stars, would catapult him into the stratosphere, marking the beginning of what he envisions as a new era for both himself and NJPW. Whether he can dethrone Nato or not, one thing is certain, Zack Sabre Jr. has never been more focused, more determined, or more ready to claim his place at the top of the NJPW mountain. The question now is, will NJPW's future truly be led by the technical wizard, or will NATO remind him why he's still the champion? Wrestling fans, buckle up, because it's about to get real. We've got a jam-packed lineup for you, and you won't want to miss a single second of the action. Whether you're a lifelong wrestling fanatic or just getting into the ring, we're here to give you the best in wrestling coverage, analysis, and discussion. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Thank you for the journey, but we're just getting started. Before we get into the details, a big thank you is in order. We want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this wild ride. Whether you've been with us since the beginning or you've recently hopped on board, your support means the world. We're in this together, and this is just the start of a new chapter. Together, we're a tribe, passionate, dedicated, and ready to make every week unforgettable. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on those notifications, you won't want to miss a thing. Weekly schedule what to expect. Let's talk about what's coming up on your screens week after week. Mondays AMP, Fridays, you know the drill. Wrestling's biggest stages come alive with Big Time and Paulus Clark as they bring you live reviews of WWE's flagship shows, Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Expect full breakdowns, insight into the biggest storylines, and plenty of banter. Get ready to relive every suplex, every promo, and every shocking twist. Tuesdays, it's time to dive into the hard-hitting world of Japanese wrestling. Join host Miguel Z on New Japan Rebound podcast, available on Patreon and YouTube, as he gives you the latest on New Japan Pro Wrestling. From the G1 Climax to Wrestle Kingdom and everything in between, Miguel Z is your guide to all things in JBW. Expect in-depth analysis, backstage news, and insights you won't find anywhere else. Wednesdays, get your midweek fix with a new episode of In Mark Down We Trust, hosted by the ever-engaging Jane AI Bot. This show dives into wrestling fandom, where passion meets nostalgia, and where we go full mark in celebrating everything that makes pro wrestling incredible. Sundays, wrap up your week with Big Time, Paulus Clark, and Miguel Z on the weekly Roundup podcast at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. From breaking news and major storylines to fiery debates and bold predictions, this is where wrestling meets deep dive commentary. If you missed anything during the week, these guys have you covered. We're thrilled to have you with us for the ride. Your support keeps this train rolling, and we're excited to continue sharing the best of professional wrestling with you. Remember, life is stressful enough, don't let anyone tell you not to go 100% mark. This is your space to love wrestling as much as you want, 